Hello there, YouTube. It's been a funny old day today. <laughs> Climb down some things. But I thought I'd show you my Ford 2610. Just uh, do a bit of an update on it, really. As you can see, we've got the new alternator on. And we've got the wires joined. That's your wire from your dynamo. That's the wire. That's your dummy light one. Got an oil filter conversion kit, second hand one. Got a wash it down here. Got the tractor weights on, as you can see. You can also see in here, I don't know if you can see actually very clearly, but in there, this leaks a bit of water. So I've had to temporarily solder it until a new one turns up, just so I can move her out the way. I've also changed the starter motor. I'll post up a video um, afterwards um, of what I did. I had a Land Rover one on there, um, but it seized up. It had quite a bit of use, but this one I couldn't get the seals for after I rebuilt it. The seals were fucked. So what the plan is to take this back off, get a complete clean up, and then thing, because the solenoid doesn't quite engage. But it, it does start it. Um, also, if you're unaware, you got three big wires joined together, your two small ones joined together for your solenoid. Put an isolator on, so I can start it. If I need to, um, I won't bother starting it just yet. I've still got the brake pedal thing to put on. Uh, I was fiddling around with the handbrake a while ago, but uh, I wasn't having much luck on it. I've got this bit working, um, but I'm not sure where to put the top bit on for there. I might have to wait until I get the, get the mud guards on so I know how to space it and all that. Um, but other than that, it's not looking too bad. I made a quick temporary three point hitch removing the trailer around, as you can see. Works quite well, does the job. Um, I'd also like to thank any, everyone that watches the videos, and I will be soon posting more videos. Um, before anyone asks, this is not its original exhaust. This one is getting uh, redone. Um, this was made temporarily, this is off my 5000 County, which I'll do a video on that. Um, afterwards, this is a uh, Fit in a small shelter that I got up, sort of above my shed up there when I was working on it. I nicely tidied away the cables in here. I've got my rear lights there, and then I've got the shrouds to go around here afterwards. You can see that actually. Um, uh, I've got 4,000 plates on it. I've got all the rebuild kit for the spindles for the for the tractor as well, um, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there, really. Check chain should be turning up soon. I'm going to try and put a drawer bar on it um, and, and get little things sorted. Uh, I'm soon going to be doing videos of me actually doing the projects as well as just faff assing around um, doing them and then posting them. Um, sorry about the wind, but it is a bit windy. Uh, also, uh, I've got um, back of my rope, mate. Can't beat good old Land Rover. Um, another 5.610 pickup hitch, um, which I was going to modify to put onto my 2.610, um, but I've decided now I'm not going to. I'm in the process of getting another 5,000 or 5.600. Um, so I was contemplating on uh, maybe just, uh, maybe just uh, getting that sorted. Um, see if I can get you set up here. There you go. Look at that. Hey. Um, See if I can get it set up so I can basically have it. So I'm gonna have it on that one because the 5000s will get used more than probably this little one will. This little one's gonna be my little town tractor um, more than anything. Um, but yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I will be doing more videos. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Um, like I said beforehand, I do these all off my own back. I'm trying to get it so I can get a little bit of cash out of doing these videos but it turns out I can't get anything from doing them from where I'm located in the Falklands. In the summertime I will I do a lot of tourist driving so while I'm down to a place called Volunteers Point I might take you down there and show you the thousands of king penguins we got and rock hoppers and any other animals I see. Uh, also doing some runs up to the top of the mountains uh, from the Falklands War like the Two Sisters, Mount London, uh, Blue Beach which is known as Bomb Alley. Uh, and we'll probably also go to some of the cemeteries where some of the war veterans have passed on and we go to respect them. Um, but if not, you can always go onto YouTube and you can actually find a lot of locals and companies have already put these things on. Um, but I'll just 
go up. Uh, I've got to take people up there anyway. Uh, I've got to take a uh, vehicle up to the two sisters just because he wants to go up and see the views and put things to rest. Um, just to let you all know, I drive veterans, uh, the British veterans, um, for the Falklands for free. I do not charge one penny, no matter what, where they go. For me, uh, the veterans that liberated us in 82, even though I wasn't around, I'll always be into debt for them. If it wasn't from them, I wouldn't be here. So my respect to them is that I take them anywhere they need to go down here for free. Uh, so that, that's basically just it. Um, yes, we, we still have our things. With, we didn't really win the war. We won the battle um, because the war is still on between the sovereignty right over the Falklands. Even though I like to think that it's British and I will fight to remain British no matter what, uh, Argentina seems to have a different sort of st story on the situation but we'll see how it goes in the future um, oil is going to start up soon in the next couple of years uh, they're going to start drilling out oil which I think is a bit of a disaster for the Falklands um, with all the wildlife and all that around and the way things are going I think it's not really our best sort of practice but I'll have to wait and see what happens after that uh, but anyway I'll catch you all later I'll post a video up in the next couple of days of me um, doing a walk around the county um, and then this weekend I've got a few things to do out on the farm so I might do a post of my 4600 that I've got out there which is still in heads off at the moment but I've got part of it back on but wait for injector pipes to turn up I'm bringing back in an A-frame um, for lifting things around in here but you've got a patch which we're going to use on the back of that 2.6 and then uh, the cat engine counterweight or tombstone off the county and the engine's got to come off gearbox has got to come apart waiting for the new parts but I'm going to take the tombstone off and the engine off Put that in the shed and start stripping that down so i'll hopefully do a video of me stripping that down as well toodle pips please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and the thumbs up and uh don't forget to ask any questions or if you see something you want to know more about i'm always willing to help even if i don't know the answers i will find an answer for you toodle pips